What's up everyone? In this video I'll show you how to do the typewriter effect in Premiere Pro. Here I have Premiere Pro opened and what I have is a white background, a simple white background and a text layer on top of it. Now, let's do the wiping effect on the text. We'll open the effects panel. If you don't find it, just go to Window and click on Effects. And in the effects panel we'll search for linear wipe here it is under transitions and we'll drag this effect onto our text layer once it's done we'll go to the effects controls and here we'll find the linear wipe effect we'll go to after about one second and we'll click to add a keyframe to the transition completion and we'll go all the way to 100% so that the text is not visible. And we'll go forward a couple of keyframes here and we will return the value to zero and we'll, it will automatically create a new keyframe. So we don't want it to be too slow. I think that's a good speed. You can always make it faster or slower by Approaching the keyframes together will make the effect much faster or make them farther away from each other with which will make the effect slower but we don't want it to be so slow so ooh, I think that's good enough but uh, here you can see that the wipe is backwards we want to wipe to start from the beginning of the text so we'll change the angle we'll make it 270 and we'll see that the wipe looks good now so we need to add a cursor. To do that, we'll go to the project panel, we'll right click, and here, new item, black video. Make sure that the settings match those of your sequence, click OK, and we'll drag the black video on top of our text layer. And we'll go to the effect controls panel, make sure you have the black video selected, and we will go to scale, we'll uncheck the uniform scale and then we'll scale down the width to like 2 pixels and to adjust the height we'll just go to a point where the text is visible and we will adjust the height so it matches our text. I think that's good enough but it needs to go a bit higher so we'll adjust the Y position to make the cursor a bit higher and to adjust the position I think that's great so we'll adjust the X position to get the cursor to the beginning of the text here is good enough so now to animate the cursor we'll go to the point where the text begins the wipe effect and we'll set a keyframe on the position of the uh, cursor and we'll go to the point where the effect ends and we'll change the position of the cursor to be at the end here which will automatically again set a new keyframe okay looking good but you'll find in some keyframes the text goes ahead of the cursor and we don't want that so in these keyframes you just go ahead and manually adjust the position so that the cursor is always ahead of the text okay another one here you'll just need to do so a couple of times okay looking good now let's do the blinking effect on the cursor First, we will lock the other two layers so that they aren't affected and we will go back a bit and with the razor tool or the letter C we'll make a cut here then we'll go forward 5 or 6 frames using the right arrow key and we'll make another cut and so on And keep making cuts till you reach the beginning of the effect. 
maybe we will do just a couple of cuts before that so uh, to go backwards you just hit the left arrow key just to make enough number of cuts before the effect and then the wipe effect will carry on and after the effect we'll just go ahead and do the same thing we'll make a cut go forward make another cut and so on okay almost there now we can go ahead and grab the selection tool again and we'll delete the beginning here click on it press delete and we'll delete the end because we don't need them and in these cuts we made we'll just go ahead and delete every other clip so we'll keep that one delete that one we'll keep that one delete this we'll keep that delete this one and we'll do the same for the cuts at the end delete that one delete that and now if we go and play it you will find that the cursor will be blinking and that's how to do the typewriter effect here in Premiere Pro.